The CDC just found that communities of color have higher rates of HIV. They also just learned about Linsanity and Cronuts. The CDC's predictably depressing report showed that homosexual men, regardless of race, have a 1 in 6 chance of becoming HIV positive. At the same time, heterosexual men only have a 1 in 473 chance, which are the same odds that we'll give up our privilege. The numbers were bad already, but they're even worse when race is factored in. White people have the lowest risk, having only a 1 in 132 chance of contracting the disease. Hispanic men and black women have the same chance, 1 in 48, but it's black men who by far have the greatest likelihood at 1 in 20. And when you restrict it to just the gay community, the stats are downright scary. Gay white men have a 1 in 11 chance of contracting HIV, but that goes up to 1 in 4 for Hispanics and a shocking 1 in 2 for blacks. Add it to the list of things that make it super easy to be a gay black man in America today, along with that one guy from The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and nothing else. So why are communities of color at more risk for HIV? One reason being tossed around is the culture of down-low bisexuality amongst the black and Latino communities. But the data actually disproves that theory. First, bisexual black and Latino men comprise extremely low proportions of their communities. Only about 2% of black men actually report being bisexually active. In addition, blacks and Latinos that don't disclose their same-sex behavior are actually less likely to be HIV positive, have multiple sexual partners, or engage in unprotected intercourse. In essence, how people sexually identify themselves is not an indicator of whether or not they have safe sex. For example, I identify as a heterosexual, but I'm not having any sex at all. A bigger reason is U.S. sex ed. Most American schools have little or no sex education, period. And only 22 states have mandated sex ed programs, and out of those, only 13 must include medically accurate information. And that's how we talk about heterosexual relationships. Imagine the shit show that would ensue if LGBT sex ed was a requirement in schools. I mean, they'd have to explain how gay people's body parts work. In fact, any discussion of homosexuality is banned outright in states like Alabama, Mississippi, Texas, Utah, and many others. So in truth, this epidemic involves a complex mix of risky behaviors and miseducation rather than race or sexual identity, which means that there's no one silver bullet we can use to solve this crisis. But let's start by improving our sex education system and making sure Tina Fey gives Titus some really good storylines this season. Thanks for watching The Daily Desk. Please click to subscribe, comment below, like our page, and share this link with anyone who you think likes links. Bye!